In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of an invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways with when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among the legends. She's got to be around here somewhere. Hmm. Not here. Oh, oh, oh God! <laughs> you two fairies did great. Wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? Oh, it's this guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, oh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, school kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't, Tail. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Aw, oh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? No, 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 no! Hello, Internet! Welcome to a Splendorous new- Oh, grass! Oh, wait, wait, that's not important right now. Hello, Internet! Welcome back to another Splendorous episode of a new LP, Majora's Mask. And as you just saw, that snake and scarecrow man just stole our horse! I swear to God, I am going to get him, and I'm going to cut him three ways to Sunday. Oh, you're hiding in a tree, are you? <laughs> I don't think so. That ain't gonna work. Ain't gonna fly in my book. I'm well acquainted with trees. Oh, no. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> Aw, boo-hoo! Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me as I am now? FOOL! Ah! Ah! Ah!
<laughs> now that's a good look for you. You stay here looking that way forever. Kid. Wait for me! I'm still here! Tail, you can't leave without me! You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother! Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy! Do something! Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something I'm stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on, a helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up! Oh, Tail... I wonder if that child will be all right on his own. Ah! Well, what is wrong with me? What? What has he done? I don't want to help you. You just screwed me forever. We're inside. Oh, oh my. Oh, grass. Oh, what? It was the grass. No oh, grass. No grass. Grass. Why is the grass dancing? What the heck is wrong with that? Okay. Well, you want to go this way? Fine, let's go this way. I don't really have an option. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to deal with you. You suck me. This is a nice room. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there. I, uh, I apologize. So, take me with you. You want to know about that skull kid that just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen an idea where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. So it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, and at least until we catch that Skull Kitten. My name is Tattle, so uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press triangle and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without my help until then. Whatever. <sighs> well, I guess I'm stuck with you. Alright, simple gap, I can handle this. Crap! Oh, more grass, well at least that's, that's the better- No! <laughs> Yes, always leave me. You're my one solace. Ooh, rupees. Rupees. Okay, well that's at least nice. Oh, okay. So how do I get out of here? Uh, just gonna climb up. I'm short. I'm short. I don't know what to do. I don't want to hear what you have to say. Not in the slightest. I can figure this out on my own. Uh. Okay, I can't figure this out on my own. What do you What do you have to say? Hey, if I call you, press triangle right away. I can tell you're not very used to your Deku Scrub body yet. Alright, listen up. If you press and hold A as a Deku Scrub while sending on a Deku Flower, you can dive into it. If you want to wait a bit before releasing A, you'll launch out of the flower. Press A while flying to descend. Did you get that? Yes, I got it. Thank you. One more thing. Press A when you're on the ground before a spin attack. That one I knew. Okay? The other one was like, I don't know if I know that one, but I, I know that one. I don't need no comp incompetent fairy just hold me back, getting screwed or something. This is all your stinging fault. Blaming me. I don't have anything to do with this. Alright, let me just... Yeah! Okay, well this is... I'm the, the flower floaty man of tomorrow. Alright then. Well, I got this... Oh, there's no going back, is there? Whoa! That is a pit of death. Not touching that. Well, I'm master of this mechanic right now, so I can... Yeah, that's right. I'm the master of my own body. I'm a... Oh, my God. Is that a treasure chest over there? Oh, okay. Oh, I want to see it. I want to see it. Oh, oh, that is... That is freaking mine. That right there, that is mine. Give me whatever is in that. Give it to my body. That is mine. My nuts! You got a Deku nut. Press B while flying to drop a Deku bomb. Upon impact, it makes a blinding flash, freezing enemies in their tracks. Yay! Awesome! So now we can go to our inventory as we see we have a Deku Nut! How fun is that? And we press the down C button, BOOM! Deku Nut. Deku Nut. Nuts of me. Okay. Oh, uh, not making that gap! Oh god! Okay, well now we're, now we are a safe panda. Should I go through the trees? Look at that. Skill through the trees. Look at the, the tree skills. Now these flowers, the way these flowers work is they, it's how far you go! <laughs> Oh, I lived. Okay, good. How these flowers work is 
when you get far enough away from them, you will automatically drop as he starts to shake his legs. It's not a timed thing, it's a distance thing. So I can just do this, and I can float here all day. Look at me. I got the skills. No one can tell me I don't know how to float. And when you're over a flower, the flower will jiggle. And it's just a patient for your arrival into its hole. Okay. So now we can go over here now. I can I can make it. I can up, 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 up. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, you, come on. Press C and talk to me. I don't want to. There you go. See? You can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use Z to look at them so you can talk to them. Use Z target to talk to people even if they're far away. Or if there's no one to target, you can use Z to look straight ahead. But enough about that for now. Come look at this tree over here. Check it out. Okay, I was going to do it anyway. I don't need you. Okay, I don't need you. I'm looking for one specific fairy. I don't need you. It's strange, but the way you look now sort of looks like this tree. It's all dark and gloomy. Almost like you can start crying at any second now. How sad. Yeah. Kind of, kind of sad. Oh, wait, wait, no, oh, oh, no. Well, there's no turning back now. There's some water. I can go swimming. Yeah, swimming! <gasps> oh my god, I am Jesus. Oh, yes. Yes, look how Jesus I am. Look at the Jesus man. <laughs> Jesus drowned. Okay, so now we're going to go. Uh, the water wheel? Water? Water wheel? Okay, this isn't saving my life. Okay, time. Uh, that's enough of that. Let's go up this ramp here. Okay, making progress. He couldn't have gone far. I mean, how far could he have gone? Look, he probably went out that door. What is this? A lot of cogs. Huh, it's like clockwork almost. Doop, boop, doop. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? I own the Happy Mass Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now I've found you. Now, don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should by no means be a simple task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. Okay. You kind of creepy. Uh, I'm going to go get those things that you asked for, but uh, kind of creepy. <laughs> Wow. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... I'm sorry, just thinking out loud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to go see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find Skull Kid, right? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Now go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy there. Yeah, 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 North Gate Fairy, whatever, but first of all, check out, look at this dog! This is a cool town! I like this town! What? Aw, oh, the doggy wants to play! Aw, oh, swim, swim, doggy! Swim, swim! Swim, swim, swim! Look at the little swimming doggy! Aw, oh, ah! The dog, the dog hates me! Why does the dog hate Where's the perfect man running from me from? Okay, alright, why does the dog hate me? 
Mean dog? Yo, man, person? No, sir, sir. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> What's that hurt me? Control your dog. I wonder if Bragg is working tonight. I wonder if he'll be get that finished. Okay. Hey, aren't you going to the Great Fairy Shrine near the North Gates? Whoa, look at the time! You only have three days left. Okay, I have an, I have two days and one hour. Wait, hang on. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Can I use it when you're around? I've already sold out my wares and the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift to my wife and return her in the village. I've heard that a stone called the Moon Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deco flower included. She, she want nuts? Do you have one? You're a Deco scrub, so you know how convenient a Deco flower can be. If you don't hurry, I'll give you another Deco scrub. The early scrub gets the nuts. Don't use that phrase. Alright, so what do you have to say, good sir? Hey, Apprentice, don't just stare out all over the sky all day. Apprentice? Huh? The moon? No, that's the sun, you dumb dumb. Oh god, dog, dog, help me! Stop, right there, Deco Scrub. Do you intend to return to the swamp alone? It is dangerous outside for walls, so I cannot allow a child like you to leave unaccompanied. You are not allowed to pass through here without an adult or until you are old enough to carry a weapon. Ah! You see what you've done? Why? But what if I want to? What if my mom's outside? I mean, I my mom. Oh! Okay, I am a grown stinking man. I can leave if I want. So I'm not a grown man anymore. Uh. Anyways, it's time for us to go to the fairy gate, right? Right? Oh God, dog! Dog wants to hurt me. Dog is a bad sir. Dog is a bad, bad, bad dog. Ooh, a statue. Ye who hold the secret sword, need proof of our encounter. Woo! It says whoo on the statue. Well, I don't have a sword. But yes, I do. I have a sword. I have plenty of... Uh, I don't have a sword. I don't have a sword. My sword is gone. Dang. Okay. Somebody's got the Ghiblis. All right. Time to go. Let's go up here. Because hopefully the Great Fairy is in. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing this is north. Inside compass is always correct. Also, big scary purple balloon. Okay. I can deal with that. Oh, look at the, the agreement! Ooh, it's Tingle! What's this? Green clothes, white fairy. Sir, could you, by chance, be a forest fairy? Oh my! My name is Tingle! I think I am the same as you, sir! A forest fairy! Alas, though I'm already age 35, no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you are so lucky to have a fairy! I know, I know, we should be friends! Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy sort of Tingle's maps? Okay, I can use the map to get around town. Yippee! Da 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 da! You got a map of Clock Town. Now you can find your way around town. The red arrow on the map shows where you entered, and the yellow arrow shows your current location. Well, call again. I am moving very strangely. Tickle, tickle, guru, lippa! These are magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. Do my gay little dance. Do my gay little dance. Uh, anyone? Why does the grass always dance? If anyone realizes what I just what I just referenced, you get ten points. Okay, slide, slide. Oh boy, slide. I can climb up the slide. Oh wait, ah! I can't even slide correctly. Maybe I can uh, board it from over here. That's probably what we do. Oh, there's a heart in that tree. I want it. I can't. I can't. I can't get it. I'm so stinking short. But at least you know how that feels, right? Right, buddy, we bros, we brothers. What do you want, shrimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. Grrr. You don't start off Superman's cape. You don't spit into the wind. You don't mess off the whole range. And you don't mess around with what? 
<laughs> that fairy is not so great. <laughs> oh no, the great fairy! Oh no, she's not gross. Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered into pieces by the bad skull kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring it to this fairy fountain. Ah, 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 okay, okay, quit swarming me. Not the bees, not the bees, not the bees. Okay, all right. Well, dang it. So, apparently, you were wrong, little... F where are you? Get out of here. I, I want to have a world... Where are you? Shadow, where are you at? Come here. Apparently, you are incorrect. The Great Fairy is not as strong as the Skull Kid. Well, dingle darn it. But I can beat him. I've beaten goddamn Ganondorf. If you think I can't beat a, a Scarecrow Man, it's not even a problem. I just gotta get a sword. And a hammer. Some arrows. And a bow. Couple bombs. That's a juggly man. East go oh, hello, sir! Where you going, Skippy? I'm angry now! Don't speak to me! They must be joking! Now what am I to do? Bye, Luigi! Well, that was interesting. He's joking. I wonder what his giblets are. His his I wonder what's stepping in his butter. Well, do you have some business? The room on the left is the mayor's room. It sounds like they're having some sort of meeting, I think. The room on your right is the drawing room, and it's also Madame Aroma's office. I don't know what green is. Okay, so let's go to Madame Aroma's office. She smells nice. She's probably an expert with wood. And by, that, by that, I mean me. By me, I mean how I am made of wood now, not... Hello, fish person. Other fins damp lately. Oh, that's just a green we use among us, Zoran, yes. Where's your mama, Sonny? Well, you came here by yourself? Well, aren't you a big boy? I don't like being called a big boy by you. Oh dear, you stole the Deku Elementary. Where's your teacher? You shouldn't be here. Feel free to go next door and tell your teacher that. I'm a grown stinking man, except I'm not. You would be surprised how often I forget that I am no longer a grown stinking man. Well, at least I can raid her bedroom because I'm a grown stinking man. Cafe's diary. The wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early, but I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Andrew has made hers. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There is a gathering of the fellows at the milk bar tonight. I plan to show off my wedding mask and talk about my sweetheart the best I can. Aww. Sweethearts. I remember when I had one of those. She was a fish. Okay. Time to go to that meeting that's over there. So maybe the mayor knows what I can do about the Skull Kid. Because anyone knows, and it's not, you know, the great fairy that watches every... What do you want? That Skull Kid has gone too far. We can't just let this happen. Quick, we have to find the stray fairy in town and return the great fairy tomorrow. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You don't rush me. I'm my own mailman. Um, Mr. Mayor? Huh? Most of the town folks have already taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and carnival committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. Hmm. Um, um, you will, uh... You cowards! Do you actually believe the moon will fall? The confused town folk simply created a panic by believing this ridiculous, groundless theory. The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answers at the carnival should not be answered. Cancelled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Uh, mm, well, uh... Are you serious, Muto? It seems the giant chunk of a rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists. So why is the town empty? Clearly, it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. Um, mm, mm. And the soldiers wish to run, then run, Vison. We councilmen will stick to tradition. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning in this town. Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor Dotour? Let's, let's not bring my wife into this. Uh, 
What are you talking about? There's no chunk of rock. I saw the sky when when I came into town. There is no chunk of rock in the sky. You guys are stinking insane. You are all worried over something. And even it's probably just a kid playing. It's probably this kid playing a prank. He seems suspicious, standing and doing jumping jacks. I'm always suspicious of kids. Look, I'll prove it. I'll look up right now and I'll see there's a. Oh my goodness! Watch out! Stop! Thief, give that old lady her luggage back! What the? You jerk off! I swear to God, I'm gonna beat you! 